Um, so, what we're interested in is your background, how you come to University Circle, how you relate to University Circle through the time that it's been meaningful to you. Are you a Cleveland? I, my address has been in Cleveland since about 1942. Uh, okay, from about 1942 to 1950, my mother, who was a widowed working mother, that's why she came to Cleveland, and I would have been about five years old at the time, I came to uh, Cleveland to work. And uh, I forget all of the details of who cared for me. I know it one point in time, I suppose, as what you would call a latchkey kid, although I never had the key around my neck. Uh, but anyway, that would have been from the time I was about uh, five years old to 13 years old. And uh, she worked at what was then called the Ohio Ball Bearing Company. It became Bearings Incorporated and is now called Applied Industrial Products. And she worked for the founder of the company, was the secretary to uh, Joseph M. Bruning. Um, I can remember being brought on the streetcar from East 82nd Street to University Circle uh, on a number of occasions. And I had a little sailboat. And at that time, it was all right for me to put the sailboat in the Art Museum Lagoon and had a current on it and have some fun with it. Uh, they do that sort of thing in the Tuileries in Paris, but I don't think young children are allowed to do that anymore at the, uh, in the Art Museum Lagoon, and I think that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, the other thing I can remember, I don't know just what age, but it would have been in that period, um, the uh, probably somewhat the the uh, middle part of the period being taken to the art museum. And I remember the wishing well. I don't remember the art, but I do remember the armored court with all of the armor. And um, uh, those are when I was later, the early 50s, when I was in high school, we would have on one or two occasions I had a class swimming party at the Tudor Arms Hotel which has now been reopened, and I remember that they had a very elegant swimming pool in there, which I gather is, which I understand is still intact, but in its present condition doesn't hold water, so that it's not available for use right now, but they tell me that they hope within a couple of years to get it restored. So I think, you know, those early memories of getting on the streetcar at 82nd Street the apartment building's been pulled down. It's now the Beacon Square Homes. And coming out to University Circle when it was a streetcar turnaround, uh, I can vaguely remember the old Elysium, which I think had been a skating rink, but at that time was a used car emporium. And uh, I also remember that where there's just like a ramp going down into the water, there was a little house, which I think had been a boathouse. But at that time, it was the Garden Club, which is now the Cleveland Botanical Gardens, I think they call it. And uh, going in there, so this must have been, uh, I think it was probably around 1945 or while the war was still going on, and they were giving a class in home canning. But, Where did you go to school? Uh, okay, I went uh, to convent boarding schools for the first eight grades. And uh, one was in Pennsylvania, which I won't mention. The other was Nazareth Hall Military School uh, outside of Toledo, Ohio, in what was called Grand Rapids, Ohio, not Michigan, Ohio. Uh, and then I went to Gilmore Academy for uh, for four years. The first year I was a boarding student and I decided I'd had enough of being a boarding student. And by that time, my mother had moved out to the, uh, to an apartment at the end of the line on uh, Van Aken Boulevard. Uh, I graduated from Gilmore Academy and went to MIT. 
I uh, graduated from MIT with a degree in humanities and engineering with a major emphasis on electrical engineering. From there, I went to the University of Michigan Law School, and I did a, after I graduated from there, I received a fellowship, and I did a year of postgraduate legal study at the University of Hamburg in Germany. I, I don't know from my own experience, but from what I hear, it was first a skating rink, and uh, I think they actually may have, they may have played hockey games there. And but uh, my recollection of it is with big poster billboard type signs on it, and I think they were about used cars. Well, this would have been, you know, as I say, between 1942 and uh, 1950. But I don't know when. Uh, my recollections of that are probably post-1945. Uh, I didn't, during the first time of that period, I don't think I, or much of that period, I don't... Uh, I think I spent the summers in Cleveland. I would uh, spend the summers with uh, either with uh, my grandfather in Dover, Ohio, uh, or one summer I spent with uh, my grand my mother's parents uh, in St. Petersburg, Florida. And then the later period, I was in spent a lot of time in summer camp. Okay, let's fast forward a bit then to. Well, I, let's take the period I came back to Cleveland and uh, was engaged in the practice of law in 1963. Uh, my uh, early encounters with the University Circle that time were attending concerts at, uh, uh, at Severance Hall. Although when I was in college, this would have been in, in the one summer during the late 50s, I uh, would probably have been 56 or 57. I took some German classes at uh, West, what was then Western Reserve University. And sometimes we would have the, cat, the, the classes outdoors by the Art Museum Lagoon. Uh, but apart from that, uh, uh, during the high school and college years, uh, other than going to the art museum from time to time, uh, I, and Severance Hall, I did not have uh, uh, any contact to speak of. And uh, the family doctor was in the old Carnegie Medical Building, which is now torn down. Uh, then after I came back, there were the concerts at Severance Hall, uh, trips to the art museum, uh, some night courses at, at Case, uh, mostly none credit, uh, either in computers or uh, taking some French classes. Where were you living? I, at that time, for the most part, I was living in Rocky River on Yacht Club Drive, down across from the Cleveland Yacht Club. Just West Side? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, not really West Side, but I was living there at the time, and it was kind of a cottage, not very uh, uh, elegant, but it was a fabulous location and for a rather cheap rent it included a boat dock. And, and you were on paper? 
Well, I was a boater when I was down on the water, but when I moved from the water, I kind of gave up boating. Right. So other relationships to the university circle, any? Oh, I can also remember as a kid, my uncle, uh, this was kind of interesting, would take my mother and I to uh, Sunday breakfast. They didn't have Sunday brunches at that time they were served. But uh, to Sunday breakfast here at the uh, Wade Park Manor. And I can recall sitting up on the upper level there by a window which looked out on the park. Uh, Uh, well, I don't know that I want you to repeat this, but I jokingly say that my wife and I moved into Judson Manor about three years ago, moved in among the uh, wheelchair and walker set with four custom bicycles. I uh, bet uh, we're very much aware of people who wait too long to make a move. And they were redoing, completely redoing the seventh floor at the time, and we could get an apartment that we liked. And uh, so we made the move. We were living in, uh, in two Bratinall place in a high rise in, in Bratinall. And I will say we just love being in University Circle. Uh, we can, there's lots of good walking and uh, this time of year with daylight savings time and the long days we can walk to dinner over and have dinner in little italy and back it's only about a mile or mile and a half each way depending on which restaurant we go to and uh, uh, we don't like to go out walking after dark but we do walk to and from the symphony uh, in the winter time and we'll walk someplace for lunch uh, during the day in the winter. So just this ability to, uh, 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 to walk places and see things at University Circle I think is absolutely f fabulous. I would never want to be in a retirement community that's out in the country where all you can look at is green grass and flowers and trees. I like being something where there's activity. Uh, and it brings me back to some roots, in a way. Any questions you have? Any, uh, anything more you want to tell us? No, not that I can think of. What I'm interested in, in a way, other museums, do you go to them? Oh, I, yes, I go to the uh, Natural History Museum and the, uh, we've been to concerts at the Cleveland Institute of Music. We love the uh, new Mixum Auditorium. Uh, I've been to the Western Reserve Historical Society. I uh, bet in some ways I find it disappointing because it's too much about upper class Cleveland in years gone by and not enough about the working people whose blood, sweat, and tears really built the city. Uh, Check I out the Warner and Swayze archives and mm -hmm. the other library, mm -hmm. the Captain Smith library. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, the uh, so I haven't been there. I've, I've been to the Crawford Collection, but basically when it was, mostly when it was at 30th and uh, Chester. Yeah, with the, with the um, license plate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, well, the other thing about being here right now, from time to time we've taken audited courses at case which has been very interesting some in uh, cognitive science and we've also been attending the origin science lectures which have just been fabulous i guess that's about it <laughs>